Hi, welcome back to DIY Cheap Daddy. If you have an old garage opener like this, you probably have uh, one of this switch, which tell the uh, garage to stop. So this is the switch I talk about. So, and for mine, somehow the contact on this switch is not always working. So this is what I'm going to fix it before I uh, order the new one. So please stay tuned. I use a multimeter to test for continuity and basically uh, sometimes beep, sometimes don't, which means there's a connection, sometimes works, sometimes don't. That's why this switch is supposed to stop, but it's not really stopping. So I'm going to remove it. There's one screw over here. And I remove the screw. And there's one wire here. And I just tilt it this way. And remove it. And clean the connection. And if you want, uh, do the easy way. You can get one of these uh, electrical cleaner and spray around the connection and see whether you work again then you don't need to take it off but I try it and it sometimes work sometimes don't I think it still have a bad connection I need sandpaper to sand it off therefore I take it off so I just remove this connection and I loosen the screw And after that, I just flip this rear and just remove and we're going to clean this contact right there. So what I find out is uh, when the cut wash door hit this switch, you're going to press it down and make the connection so you turn then you stop the garage opener continue to move forward so this is the part is not touching or sometimes touching and what I find out is I have a really black spot which I clean up already so I just use some sandpaper roll it up and just go inside and clean up all those corrosion or grease or anything so the key point is the key point is you need to be cleaned up under here and here so this two point and after that you can use a meter to test for continuity and uh, that's about it and I'm going to put it back and it should work do I test it when I press down now I have continuity before because of some corrosion under here so you make it sometimes work, sometimes don't it may be the grease and that kind of thing so all I need is some sandpaper that's all folks thank you so much for watching please like, subscribe and comment and put it back nothing more than the reverse so you slide this over here on the track and then turn it and then put back the same position you put in and put back the wire connection and the nut you unscrew and it should work thank you so much please like subscribe and comment also uh, other than the other connection I will also clean up the uh, wire connection since everything is out so uh, I will do the wire connection <sighs> and put it back and then the nut is right here and that's all folks thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and comment